In this video, I will discuss the patella bone in detail. Patella bone is also called as the kneecap. It is classified as a sismoid bone and is one of the largest sismoid bone. Now we came to the side determination of the patella bone. For the side determination, you have to remember three main points. Number one, the interior surface should be on the interior side. The apex of the patella should be pointed downward and on the posterior surface, this is the lateral articular facet and it should be on the lateral side posteriorly like this. So this is the lateral side. So this is the right patella bone. Now if you consider this right patella bone as the left one, then the interior surface comes on the interior side. The apex is pointing downward, but the posterior lateral surface, which is this one, it does not come on the lateral side. It comes on the medial side. So this is not the left patella bone. This is the right patella bone. The patella bone has three borders and two surfaces. This border is called as the base. This one is the lateral border and this is the medial border. And the point where the lateral and the medial border meet each other is called the apex. And the apex of the patella bone is facing downward to the foot. Now we came to the two surfaces of the patella bone. Patella bone has the anterior surface and the posterior surface. The interior surface of the patella bone has many longitudinal ridges. These are the longitudinal ridges of the patella bone. These ridges are more prominent when viewed from the side. So now you can clearly see these ridges. And these ridges are the identification of the anterior surface. The posterior surface has both smooth and rough surfaces. This is the smooth surface and this is the rough surface. This rough surface is opposite of the apex. And through this, you can easily identify the apex. This is the rough surface and on the opposite side, this is the apex. The smooth posterior surface is actually the articular surface and it articulates with the femur bone. When this smooth surface is viewed from the sidewise, then you can clearly see a ridge is present in the smooth surface of the patella bone. And this ridge divide the posterior smooth surface of the patella bone into two. The large posterior articular surface is the lateral one and the small posterior articular surface is the medial one. Now if you remember the femur bone, on the femur bone, this is the patellar surface and the posterior smooth articular surface articulate with this surface of the femur bone. The posterior medial articular surface, this one articulate with the medial condyle of the femur bone, while the posterior lateral articular surface, which is this one, articulate with the lateral condyle of the femur bone. The posterior articular surface of the patella bone form part of the knee joint and the patella bone provide strength and protection to the knee joint. Now you know that this is the medial articular facet and this is the lateral articular facet. So this tell us that this is the medial border and this is the lateral border. Since this is the medial border and the medial border allows for the attachment of the vastus medialis and this is the lateral border 
and the lateral border allows for the attachment of the vastus lateralis to the base of the patella bone is attached the tendon of the quadricep femoris muscle as this is the apex and to the apex is attached a ligament called the patellar ligament and this patellar ligament is then inserted on the tibial tuberosity so this patellar ligament which is attached to the apex of the patella bone connect the patella and the tibia bone thank you